Music is not being offered in a lot of junior high school programs. Because of that deficiency in music programs in the junior high school level, certain high school programs are suffering a little bit because they, they don't have the kids coming to them with the knowledge of music that they had in the past. And this program actually caters to that. We are feeding the need for these junior high school programs to have music. Well, this is an after school and summer program for kids 9 to 14. And we started out to get the kids off the street and give them something to do. The curriculum is, is a carbon copy of a lot of the old, old band teachers used to teach. And we just implemented it in this program where you just learn everything from beginners to advanced here with us. You're learning and you have a test, you get, you get uh, quizzes on it to see where you learn at. You get to take your in instrument home. The instruments here were uh, loaned to us through uh, several different entities. One of them was the Tipitinas Foundation. Uh, Tipitinas graciously gave us a great amount of instruments, and we had a few donated instruments, and a few instruments that I had of my own, and it made up uh, about an 80 piece band right now. Our ultimate goal is to have 200 people. We envision our kids being able to jump right into high school, going into NOCA, maybe surpassing level one, becoming level two NOCA students, which is the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. And uh, we think that this program can be a springboard for that. It can be a springboard. They can be leaders in their high school bands. And hopefully it can extend some uh, music scholarships to the kids once they get ready to go to college. It's a free program. First of all, we didn't want to have the parents with any excuses whatsoever. There's no excuse, it's free. All you have to do is make sure your kid gets to our bus satellite. All you have to do is show up. For the long term, we look at this thing for years and years and years. I mean, we just don't want to be one, do one year and then, oh, it would have been great if we did No, that's not our plan. Our plan is years, down, when we dead and gone, excuse my language, roots of music still going on some kind of way. I learned about steps and I learned about key signatures and I learned like different scales. And I just started learning all other things about steps, reading music. At first I really didn't know what a staff was, I knew how to read music. How to sit in the chair when you're playing your instrument. How to play better and all that type of thing. Well I was making a lot of mistakes at first. Though. We learned sharps and flats. Kept blowing, I kept blowing to I get the uh uh, no right now I'm playing a clarinet because they say my arms are too short for trombone right now. I play um, baritone here, but I play the drums at my church. I have a cousin named Lyndon, he played a bass drum. Cousin named Willie, he played a trumpet. My friend, he won't play in the band with me. And another friend, Kenny. My cousin named Eldridge, he played a snare drum. We, we always talk and have fun and stuff, talking about sick line bands and all that. These kids, you know, they, they're learning real fast. They want to learn it. They want to do it. They need it. They, you know, it's, keeping their attention is not hard as long as they're learning. You know, unless they stop learning, that's when you lose their attention. All instruments provided, transportation provided, mouthpieces provided, uniforms provided, T-shirts provided. What excuse do they have?